ArcGIS Pro Intelligence, or Pro Intel for short, is designed for intelligence professionals to explore and analyze spatial and temporal data. In this video, we will time enable a data layer that contains temporal attributes and understand how a timeline is used to explore your data. In my Pro Intel project, I have a layer of crimes from 2020, and I would like to apply previously saved classification and symbology by importing a layer file. Going to the Appearance tab, I choose Import, and then locate my Symbology layer. The classification will be based on the Ward field, and the layer symbology is applied. Next, we'll focus on just the 2020 homicides by applying a definition query to filter out all the other crime types. In order to use the timeline, we will have to time enable the crimes layer. Right clicking on the layer name brings up the context menu and we choose Time Properties. We're going to specify a single date time field called Report Date. Once I have applied these settings, I see a time bar appear in the upper right corner of the map. This enables me to view the crimes over time slices by adjusting the step length and playing through 2020. As the playback went quickly, it may be difficult to get a good idea of the location and the timing of any patterns or clusters that occur. In order to better explore our data temporally, I'll create a new timeline in the Analysis tab. Any time-enabled data layer can be added to the timeline, and we'll add the 2020 Crimes layer. I'll set the display field as Report Date for when I hover over a point in the timeline and the Category field as Ward for categorization in the timeline. By default, you can see each crime symbolized by Ward as they are in the map. But we can also break them out by using the Enable Lanes button in the Timeline Diagram tab. We'll also label each lane with the Ward number. There are different ways to select the data points both on the timeline and in the map. For example, if I'm interested in selecting all the crimes that happened in July, I can use the Select tool to draw a box around the month of July. The points are selected both in the timeline and on the map, making it easier to visualize any patterns in July. I can also select by attribute. If I'd like to look at the difference between the number of gun-based homicides versus the number of knife-based homicides, I can alter the expression to select one value at a time and visualize where they are both on the map and in the timeline. Visualizing data temporally and spatially gives you the ability to discover patterns and relationships in your data using Pro Intel.